Hello folks. So in this video, I'm going to cover uh, another type of computer service called virtual machine scale set. So virtual machine scale set is another type of uh, virtual machines which can get scaled up to a particular amount. For example, uh, uh, if you want to scale your virtual machine from 1 to 100 or 1 to 500, or one to uh, you know 1500 so you can basically scale your virtual machine existing virtual machine to uh, hundreds or thousands of uh, you know scalability options so uh, what exactly happens is uh, let us say uh, there is your website uh, and which is hosted on one particular server and uh, during the holiday season you're getting a lot of traffic now, a single virtual machine instance might not be able to handle that kind of traffic. So what will happen? Uh, you will need to have a, a you know, uh, system in place using which your machine should be scaled up accordingly uh, if the traffic is high and it should be scaled down in, in case the uh, traffic is not that much high. Okay. So uh, due to this reason, we use virtual machine scale set which can get themselves scaled up from 1 to 100 or 500 or and so on okay and the way we create virtual machine scale set is go to uh, in, in you know all services and right now i'm yeah i'm i'm in all services section so in the filter section just uh, provide a query string like vmss and you will be able to see this option virtual machine scale set so click on it It will take a couple of minutes to get actually spinned up. All right, so this is the window and then uh, you can either click on add button or create virtual machine scale set. So let's click on create virtual machine scale set. So it will ask for certain, uh, you know, field values to be filled in so you need to provide the virtual machine scale set name so vmss azure let us say i have given this name now what will be the disk image so we can either use windows uh, image set or linux okay so i'm going to use ubuntu server here okay uh again uh, the location um, i'm using just my own resource group which is ml resources and location can be anything which you want to select or whichever is the location near to you so let me give best us only uh then uh, if you want to provide a password then uh, you need to choose this password option and you you need to provide username and password and provide a confirm password as well to create a new user id and password set you can click on SSS public key as well and accordingly you can set the values, right? And here the instance count is 2 to start with. You can change the instance size, uh, which is, uh, I always pick that, uh, you know, B1S. So you can, you can basically choose any of the option according to your own individual needs so i'm going to choose this b1s so select click on select and then you can see it has been changed to b1s okay and then you can use manage this option yes or no according to need i have chosen the default one yes auto scale is one feature which you can enable so when you provide or choose this enable option you can be given certain options so for example, the minimum number of VMs, we can let us say keep three. Okay, so it, it will, the VM uh, um, virtual machine scale set will spin up three, uh, minimum number of VMs, three. Okay, it will spin up that many numbers of VMs. Maximum count we can keep, let us say 15. Okay, so we can have maximum uh, 15 virtual machines to be uh, scaled up. So from 3 to 15, we can have these virtual machines. So these are some of the rules. Uh, let us say if your th CPU threshold go beyond 75%, then an additional uh, VM will be spinned up. Okay. 
So for example, the uh, currently the number of VMs which got spinned up are three, and my CPU utilization go beyond 75%, that another VM get spinned up. So the total count will become four, okay? Similarly, if uh, there is not much traffic and people are not visiting uh, the website frequently, then the CPU uh, threshold might go down. And if it, uh, according to this rule, if it go be, uh, below 25%, then your uh, you know uh, vms will start scaling out uh, sorry uh, will start uh, going down okay uh, the number will be decreasing so from four to three if let us say after we threshold value went up and so the total number of vms went up to four now the cpu utilization then uh, suddenly decreased uh, due to inactivity for some certain period of time and you are not getting traffic then uh, threshold uh, CPU uh, utilization uh, went below 25% so it uh, rolled <coughs> so basically it decreased your VM from 4 to 1 so uh, 4 to 3 so by decreasing it by 1 okay then there are certain networking options given so if you choose this application gateway option uh, you will be provided with supporting protocols like http https and web, web socket what exactly it is mean uh, it means is it allows basically web based traffic so let us say uh, there is some url uh, through which a particular traffic is coming in on your uh, server right uh, so if if the traffic is coming specifically for let us say some images then you can redirect the traffic to uh, a server or vm uh, where uh, which actually caters this these images if there is a traffic which is coming through a url to your uh, another virtual machine where or web server uh, where you are just uh, you know redirecting your traffic to um, with respect to uh, let us say um, videos okay so that particular uh, traffic uh, which is uh, related to uh, videos only can be uh, redirected to uh, the virtual machine which caters these video related traffic thirdly you can you might also have you know uh, uh, um, uh, traffic which is coming in mainly for audio only so you might have a third uh, virtual machine or server where you which is only catering audio related uh, traffic so that way you can utilize application gateway and uh, when you choose application gateway you need to define uh, those rules accordingly okay load ban balancer is uh, uh, we all know that you know a load, load balancer is nothing but let us say uh, any traffic is coming then uh, we can balance the traffic or redirect the uh, you know additional traffic to another virtual machine uh you know and you can define any rules here as well so let us say if you currently you have only two virtual machines and uh, which are catering uh, you know um, millions of users right now and now that uh, traffic count goes beyond 1 million to 2 million so uh, uh it will basically uh, you know spin up maybe a, a new virtual machine which can cater this additional traffic okay so accordingly you can choose either load balance or application gateway and accordingly you will provide the values here okay so once those values are uh, okay so one more thing so public ip address for, for instance right now it is off but if you keep it on what does it mean is let us say you have uh, a virtual machine which can scale up till uh, let us say 50 uh, virtual machine instances so if you want to provide uh, IP address for each individual virtual machine. So for all the 50 ma machines, virtual machines, you need to provide uh, individual, uh, you know, IP address for all the 50 machines. Then you can keep this option on. But generally, we do don't keep this option on uh, due to basically monetary reasons. But if there is a requirement, you can have that option as well. So once you create, uh, once you click on this create button, uh, your virtual machine scale set will be rolled out, and uh, you can then you know um, use it for your application, uh, you know particular to any requirements. 
so guys uh, this is it for this video uh, i will be covering uh, next topics uh, in the upcoming videos so keep on watching and if you liked this video uh, then please hit the like button and uh, subscribe as well thank you